This is EDUC 4703U, Teaching and Learning, Problem-Based Learning, Session 2, Video Clip 3. The title of this video clip is PBL in Various Settings, Part 2. The analysis questions are exactly the same as the previous video clip, as this is a continuation of that clip. The, the analysis questions then are, number one, how is PBL being implemented in each of the instances cited in this video? Number two, what is the role of performance-based assessment, that is, giving a presentation or demonstration of your learning, in each of the instances cited in this video? Number three, what roles do the teachers and instructors play in each of the instances cited in this video? And number four, how much independence do the students, learners, have in each of the instances cited in this video? This video clip and the previous one accesses a series of video clips that have been posted publicly on YouTube. These clips describe various implementations of PBL in high schools and instances of higher education in countries around the world. You're expected to view each of the clips and discuss what you have viewed in your tutorial sessions. This video will also be provided as a presentation available in the UIT WebCT course from which you can click on the links. The instances um, in this particular instance, or the first of the instances, is PBL in Applied Sciences, that is tourism, in Austria. And this is a university setting, so it's higher education. The second instance in this particular video clip is uh, given in the context of PBL within education, so it's a university setting again. And the third and last instance is uh, one of PBL processes that are given in Stenden University in the Netherlands. So again, this is a higher education um, setting. The theory is again the same as uh, was used in the previous video clip. You were asked to read uh, the following article that's given on the mededonline.org uh, site. And the synthesis questions are again uh, the same ones as integrated into the last video clip. There are three of them. Question number one, why are there more examples of project-based learning compared to the number of problem-based learning examples? Number two, why does there seem to be more intervention by the teacher instructor in some instances cited in these videos as compared to other instances? What might be the impact of greater intervention on the learning that's achieved? And number three, can you detect a relationship between the need to cover specific content and the amount of freedom given to learners to develop their own solutions to the problems? If so, what is the nature of the relationship and why might that relationship exist?